Hi, welcome to automation testing that in please hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon to get the notifications. In this video, we will see dot test file in test book. Dot test file is the main file where you write your test scripts in the test book. Test file considered as the collection of the tests. You can create as many dot test file inside tests package. Okay, actually where you'll write the test box scripts, you'll write inside the test package, you'll need to create dot test file inside that you can create or you can write your automation scripts in plain English. Okay, so the typical dot test file code looks like this. Okay, I have created sample dot test inside that when a test starts, the starting point is test keyword. TEST colon. So this is the keyword inside the test book. Then colon, you need to give a space and you need to write the test name. Okay. So after that, actual step will contain or starts with step colon. So then test step in plain English. Step colon, test step in plain English. So something like that, you need to write all the steps. Once you complete writing your steps, you need to mention a keyword called end. So this test is the starting point of your test and this end is your ending point your, of your test. So inside this you will write all the steps using the step keyword. Okay. So we'll see by taking an example and we'll see elaboratively in our upcoming videos. But here how a dot test file you need to create and how you can write all these things. Okay. Tesbo also supporting the tags in dot test file. Tags are useful when you want to run the selected bunch of test scenarios only. For example, if you need to run the regression test from the test file, you can pass hash regression tag for all the regression test scripts. And when you will assign tag to your config.json file, only the test with hash regression tag from the test file. Okay. So what is tag? You can name or you can give some tags to your test files. So when you go back here, you see that for this test, I have given a tag. Tag starts with a hash uh, symbol. So hash regression means you have multiple tests inside that uh, in all multiple tests, you have some particular test comes under regression. So how you will segregate those by creating a tag or by giving a tag, you can separate them as a regression test cases. And in the future, if you want to execute only those particular test cases, so then you can use this regression tag to execute particular test cases. Okay. So in the config.json file, you need to mention something like this, the tag, and you just mention that particular tag name then it will execute only the test cases which are having the regression tag. Okay. So this is how tags will work and this is how you need to write a dot test file. So we'll go to Eclipse and we'll see. So this is the test book frameworks demo we created in our previous video. How the skeleton will be, you know, how the structure of a particular test book framework. Okay. This is the pom.xml file and this is config.json file and you have all the packages. So inside the tests package, you see that inside the test package, right click new, you need to create a file. Okay. You just select file here. It's a plain file. So inside the file, you just give sample is the name of the file. According to your functionality, you need to name them dot the extension should be tests -E tests okay sample dot tests and then just finish you see that under the test package test sample dot test create so here how you need to start test -E test colon space and you need to give the test name Alright, so how we are give, 
written here test name and inside that step colon step name in plain english okay step colon step name in plain english so why i'm writing like this in our upcoming videos we will write actual step so we have not seen how the step looks like so what are the keywords so once we move forward we'll start writing the actual steps but here i'm just giving an hint okay step step name in plain english okay something like that i have written so once you complete you need to mention end keyword okay so test is a keyword in the test book and the same way step is also a keyword in the test book and end is also a predefined keyword in the test book okay test is the starting point and end is the ending point in the same way you can write multiple steps sorry test inside the test so you can say test name one in the same way step step name in means otherwise test step okay actual test step in plain english and step test step in plain english step colon test step in plain english and then end so sample dot test consider two tests okay so i'll just replace it with this one and i'll replace this instead of step name in plain english test step in plain english so i have two tests inside this dot test file and this is the starting point and this is the ending point okay and tag okay we have seen tags so coming to the tags you need to mention above your steps means before starting your steps you need to mention hash regression so this test comes under regression and the same way so it comes under regression and this comes under according to your functionality i say this boom smoke okay and both comes under you can give multiple tags this is my login functionality assume okay this is also my login functionality so if i give login tag and when you go to the config.json and you mention you see actually this is not the first line we will see everything but just an example how we have written there something like by tag colon you need to mention i want to execute only regression test cases so if i mention something like this when i run this means when i when you run your test book tests then according to this regression it will execute only regression related test cases here we have only one so it will execute this one but if we have multiple test cases with the same tag regression then it will consider those are executable and it will execute only these tag related test cases okay so if i change this to login if i change this to login then it will execute both the test cases the reason is the login tag is applied to both the tests okay then it will execute both the test if i mention only smoke then it will execute only this particular test case okay you can write multiple tags also so now according to this tags it will execute 
both the test cases so this is the helpful when you mention tags okay so you can control your execution flow and it is a flexibility that how you want to execute and which test cases you want to execute okay so this is the sample dot tests file in testbo okay that's all in this video thank you